What's going on, everybody? Mr. 17 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Plant for the Zombies. Man, it's been quite a while. Uh, yeah. I think it's been quite a while since I actually played Plant for the Zombies, but the last few episodes were recorded a day or two after. I mean, I uploaded them maybe a day, maybe two days after I actually recorded them. Sorry for the lack of updates. Like I said, I've been getting home pretty late. So, there's gonna be a bit few updates this week. So, yeah, and I was afraid school and stuff was gonna affect my uploading schedule and all that. But, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to talk about before, uh... Well, not before we start the game. We're gonna go on and start the game here. And... What are you doing, Bubbles? Oh, <laughs> She's getting the, uh, the toy under my shirt, which is on the floor. And... Oh! Throw your funnel away onto your roof! Wait, what? Dang, my roof is in terrible shape! Look at all those cracks and stuff, I mean, wow. Those, so, those are some resistant zombies, dude. You need to use carbon folks here due to your roofing. Remember that, you're good to go. Uh, good thing to point out here. Every other offensive plan of yours, on this level, it's a piece of crap. Except for chompers. Chompers, potato mines, stuff like that. But mainly, they are worth everything else. To like, hey, the, the pea shooters, star fruit, cactus, scissors, and the plants like those. Even the mushrooms, they're useless. It's like, oh, well, of course, mushrooms are useless. You'll use them during the night. There is a plant that allows you to use them during the day. And we'll actually be getting it in this in World 5. And, whoa, that is a trippy satellite dish ish I got. Holy crap, that is awesome looking. Anyway, um... Alrighty, then. Put that there, put that there. And... Uh, sure. Now you notice, we got these flower pots. These are actually plants. Not to spoil, but we're gonna get these in the, uh, next wave and after this level. And oh crap, as you see, we have no lawnmowers. We'll be able to buy those at the shop. Oh man, I love the, the, the roof level is my favorite song. My th top three songs in Plant for Zombies is the, the theme song for level, I mean, World 5. If the uh, boss music, not really boss music, the final wave music, and the final boss music. Wait, there's a boss? Yes, you didn't think the final level of the game was just gonna be a normal giant wave, did you? If you did, then. <laughs> oh, you're dead wrong. Just dead wrong. So, yeah, my birthday party was, uh, uh, last Saturday. It was pretty good. Had my buddy Casey and Will over. Actually, I need, uh, my mom. Well, I gotta explain it first. Two things that Cousin Mandy got me. Three. One, she got me this little, uh, kit to make, uh, a little silly putty or something. You know, you put your fingers in it, it makes a farting sound. Yeah, really appropriate. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah, and she got me a Yu-Gi-Oh! t-shirt, it had the Dark Magician on it, and some Japanese text on it as well, and the Dark Magician used to be me, my cousin Mandy's favorite card when we were little. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! was our game. My cousin Mandy is like, just three years older than me. And also, cat nut. Uh oh. Yeah, I hate those things. 
Go away! Nobody likes it. And they get snack the flower pots too. So where was I? Oh yeah. And the best thing gift she got me was a creeper head. I'm not joking. I literally have it right beside me. I put it on war in the, in the uh, restaurant as soon as I got it. And uh, on my actual birthday, after we ate at Golden Corral, just me, my mom, dad, my little sister, and my grandma and granddaddy, um, we went to Walmart and I got myself Mario and Luigi Dream Team and man is it fun! I mean, it's good! And so many new mechanics! Yeah, cause I'm not gonna spoil anything. But yeah, it's fun. And so yeah, anyway, I got the creeper hood on, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play my DS like this. It was messing with my eyes very badly. But yeah, oh by the way, twin sunflowers are, are basically just two sunflowers and one plant. And no! Also, they can drop down and play zombies. So yeah, and also my buddy Casey, what he did was, when we left the restaurant, when we actually walked out, and, oh, hey, 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 oh, and, uh, what happened was, he put the creeper head on, he started ga dancing the Gondam style, he started doing the Gondam style dance, and my mom actually recorded him doing it, so I may actually see if I can, uh, get the footage and put it on my channel, he said he didn't care if it was on YouTube or Facebook. That was funny as crap. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, the plant we got was, of course, the flower pot. Allows us to plant, put plants on the roof. And... Good God! 3,000 bucks for roof cleaners? We're gonna need them. As much as, as expensive as they are, we're gonna need them. Oh, by the way, rakes still work. On the roof. And we got, uh... Blah. Wait, war and peace. Is that a look? Is that a bookworm in there? Is that a air pump or something? Is that a giant turn up? Oh no, that's a sack. It's got roller skates, war and peace, something. I don't even know what that is. So, uh, yeah. We got two new plants. Uh, this is a uh, spike. Like rocks. They're basically bear traps. They have twice the durability as uh, they do twice the damage as spike weed, and they don't die in one hit. They die in two hits. <coughs> so yeah. And this is very useful. You plant this on a uh, a magnet room. Not only does it wake it up. But it collects any money on dropped. It's super helpful. But anyway, yeah, Th we'll be getting another plant that will help us protect us from the uh, bungee zombies and another kind of zombie as well. All right, so we want to get flower pot. Popping noise, that was my neck. Cabbage bolts, by the way. Didn't go over them that much. They not only work on a roof, well, of course they'll work on a roof, but they can also work on land. Flat land. So, yeah. Let's actually go to the almanac and look at their damage. It says it's. <laughs> he just doesn't understand how the zombies get up on the roof in the first place. Yeah, I don't understand it either. But yeah, it doesn't say, it may say the damage is normal, but it does, I believe, three times the damage as a pea shooter. 
I don't know, we'll count how many hits it does on a normal zombie, and see. If it dies in four hits, then yeah, it's three. Maybe that's two damage. I'm not- I'm not even sure. More- The only, uh, thing is the fire rate's slightly slower. Alright, let's just pick our plants. So, uh... I actually may need the, uh... Yeah. May need the tall nuts! Or... Pumpkin. Tall nuts and pumpkins are the bit like the most OP combination ever. Even with walnuts and pumpkins, they're they're OP. Just when they the zombies thought they got through one line of defense, guess what? They gotta get through the tall nut next. And that thing takes nearly a minute, so that's like a whole minute over whole 60 seconds of protection there. So yeah. Oh, cabbage fault. That's how the zombies got up there. A ladder. Alright, I'm just rambling on, wasting time. Uh, give me just a sec. Sorry about that, I actually had to pull the blinds a bit more for my cat. My dad's actually coming home tonight after being gone since... Dang, since my birthday. He's been gone for over a week. Like I said, my dad's a trucker. And oh, I forgot I bought the rake. Three, two, one. Whack! That would be horrible if that would happen to you in real life. Ugh, just imagine the pain. Then again, human beings would be fragile. Millions! And millions of people would be dying a whole lot faster if that, if that was the case. God. I did actually record an episode, two episodes of uh, Team Fortress 2 of me and Sage. But sadly, one of them contained inappropriate content because he wanted to show me a poster. I looked at it and it contained a curse word. I was like, and I just decided a few minutes ago, I was like, no, I'm just scrapping the entire recording to himself. Let's count here. One, two, three. Up oh, is two damage. Yep. All right. So I thought it was three, but it's apparently two. What about four? No, I'm just kidding. Oh man. I guess I got a little something to talk about, so, uh... I remember when, uh, King Ic Icarus first came up, uh, came out, I saw the trailer for it, I was like, oh man, I want the game. But I never actually got it. But now, uh, Chugger Conroy's actually doing a Let's Play of it, he just started. I'm like, wow, okay, that game is cool, I definitely want it. But my birthday's already passed away. <laughs> hey, now. So, last for it for Christmas. And, oh god. Oh no, I'm not... No, sir, you, sir, are not getting past our defenses. I mean, my defenses. No. I said no. See, that's the one thing I don't like about cabbage poles. Or any of the catapult plants, and there are three kinds. Well, technically four, because it's an upgrade for the strongest one. <clears throat> I like it how I'm giving very, very minor spoilers. You probably go in the comments like, "Oh, don't spoil it!" Th that probably sounded horrible. <laughs> My voice probably just sounded flat out horrible there. Placing another row. Why not? Okay, we're gonna get rid of that one because, uh. 
You're like, why don't you get rid of it? Because if a plant was just nearly eaten and you killed a zombie just in time and the next zombie comes up and just takes a little nibble out of it, it's gone. Like, that plant's gone. So, it's better to be safe than sorry and replant a new one before that one screws it, me over. But yeah, anyway, how's you guys at school year going? Pretty upkeep freaking time. <laughs> Mine's going pretty good. But it's still loving art class. I mean, I can never get enough of it. Like, seriously, I can't. I wish I could have art class both semesters. Next semester's gonna be a pain, man. Okay. Excuse me, you ate my flower pot. That was 25 bucks, I mean, a son. I'm out. No. Bad zombie. So, crap, I already forgot what. Oh, yeah. Next semester is gonna be a pain in the butt because I got three, uh, uh, main classes to take and one elective. I got U.S. History, Algebra 2, which I am... In middle school, math used to be my strong. It used to be easy. This year, ever since I got into Algebra 1, it's been hard. That's crap. I mean, just... You will not believe how frustrating for me it's been. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, and I've got English 3. English never really been a problem. Yeah, English has never really been a problem at all. <clears throat> and nice! Talk about a solid defense. We could put, wait a minute, how many call three four? Hey. You bugger! Oh, uh good way jalapenos are useful for taking those out if you want to. You can also use jalapenos to get those guys. Thought you might want to know that. Useless cherry bomb is useless. For the heck of it. Go by tall nuts. Sit there with those beady eyes. Those beady, beady eyes. And we got our second catapult plant, which is a kernel pulp. I always thought that its eyebrows were actually its eyes, but then I found out it had little eyes under it. It's like, had other two dots. It's like, oh wait, there's his eyes. <laughs> Flings corn kernels and butter at zombies. You heard right. It flings kernels and butter. And oh dear God. Yeah, you think uh, your tall nut nuts are indestructible? Nope. Ladder zombies. Tall nuts. Nuts and walnuts. That's and pumpkins true weakness. Way to get rid of the ladder? Magnet shroom. Sad thing is, it's nocturnal. So we can't use it unless we get the other plant. We may actually get it. Get it next. Uh after this level I think I'm gonna end the video off. So yeah. So basically what the ladder zombie's gonna do is gonna place a ladder on your plant. It's gonna climb over there and just get past your defenses. Alrighty then. That satellite actually looks like some type of alien laser gun when you kind of think about it. Well, the end of it does. The actual antenna. Alright, um, we're gonna need... And that should do. Dun, dun, 
I'd like to know how a roof cleaner can kill a zombie. <laughs> Just how? Or a pool cleaner, and a pool cleaner too. How does how do those things kill zombies? Please, video game logic. Explain. Is there a hidden Chuck miniature Chuck Norris under all of these things? Chuck Norris. Of course, kids would not get that reference <laughs> until you get in the middle or high school. Get that. Get that. Uh oh. Go. Brains. Uh, there's a potato mine. Alrighty then. So, yeah. Excuse me. Maybe I should have put my kernel pulse at the back. Ah, it's too late now. Alrighty then. Come on. Go, my Colonel Put! Pulp. Butter! <laughs> Alright, Colonel Pult. The Colonel's that the Colonel Pult slings do one damage and butter! However, when it slings butter, it does three damage. <laughs> the butter thing is actually. This is gonna be funny later on. Because this is part of something real funny. Actually, getting our start getting you bad boys out. We should have had you out a little while ago. Alrighty then. Sounds like some of these kernel bolts or cabbage bolts are just spitting out something. Like like that, if you could actually hear that. Like, Poof! No, that, that, that just sounded weird. That didn't really sound like what I was trying to, sound like the sound I was trying to make. Even though, uh, Cabbage Wolves do two damage and the Colonel Pulse only do one, because most of the time they fling just normal kernels. I don't care! I want butter! This is Sky Does Minecraft's dream come true. What does he want for his birthday? Yes, come on. Sky asks you for a birthday present. Give him Colonel Pulse! And oh, oh. Hello. Boom! Butter. Uh, way to get rid of the other way to get rid of the ladders. Are to uh, remove the plant that the ladder is on. So, yeah. And, oh, money. Um, I also want to apologize for no uh, dragon nest. Uh, I hate to say it, but I think I might actually postpone it. Because when I think about it now, it may have been a bad idea to start a let's play of it. Unless I had a friend with me. And usually the friends, that, my two friends that actually have Dragon Nest. I 
never know when they're gonna be online. Plus, I'm not getting home till like seven, between seven or eight o'clock each night. Hey, this week. So yeah. Because my mom's got cheerleading practice. I feel like that. Well, today, tonight, I didn't get home like seven or eight. I might be getting home like an hour, an hour and a half early. God, I hope I do. Butter! Double the butter! It looks like a very, very yellow... It looks like a bar of soap when you think about it. Don't drop the soap. I don't have to. I can fling the soap! Please don't ask what, ki kids, please don't ask what it means to drop soap. I shouldn't have even said that. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. But seriously, it does look like a bar of soap. I'm not even joking on that. Hello! Goodbye! Hello, goodbye! And, yeah, we actually did get it. This is the coffee bean! Planted on a mushroom to wake it up. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that will do it for this episode. Uh. Oh, wow, it's 8.44. Dang. Whatever. I plan on getting through, uh, the rest of the adventure mode tonight. Next time on Let's Play Plant vs. Zombies. We shall continue through World 5. Did not mean to click on it. Don't be pogo jumping on my roof. Anyway, see you guys next time.